Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today we're going to talk about reports that you can start with the wizard and then kind of update and modify as you go along. So let's get started. There are basically three types of reports that businesses will use uh, during the course of their business. And the first one, probably the most popular one, is the tabular report. And basically it looks like a modified form of a table or a spreadsheet. You have a header that tells the title. You have the next row that has the titles to the columns. You usually have it categorized and then you have columnar data. So in the columns, you have the various pieces of information. Not to be confused with the next type, which is a columnar report. So what it does is it fills in the columns and then goes to the next column, puts data in the next column, and then the next, okay? And they basically look a lot like this. You'll see product information here. The titles for each of the fields are to the left instead of up top. And so you'll see down this column has these pieces of information. When it gets over to product ID and the picture of the vehicle in this case, it has just those two things in this column. And then the uh, features, the description down here is much wider. It's given more in more space and it, it just kind of puts things together in a columnar format. So the next one is the mailing labels. Businesses, of course, use mailing labels a lot when they want to bulletin out advertising or such to their, to their customers and keep in touch with their customers. So mailing labels then, of course, appear like this. And it depends on what your mailing labels look like. If they're three across or four across or 10 down or whatever it is, there's several templates inside of Microsoft Access that can help you to lay them out properly. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Access and, and take a look at how you would start setting up these types of reports. And uh, we'll go create and go over here, you know, past the form wizard to the right farther a little bit is the report wizard. And we're going to go ahead and choose a table or query and the table we're gonna choose is products. And we're gonna choose a few of those fields. now. I'm going to get these fields a little bit out of order just to show you that to put them into order, all it takes is removing the one that's not in its right place, description in this case, and we can just put it back in, which allows us then to put it at the bottom. You'll notice that it'll fill from top to bottom. So filling from top to bottom, after a while you play with it enough, you'll get, get a feel for this dialog box. So we'll click next there. And we're gonna go ahead and choose a category here. Now by choosing a category, I automatically choose that this report is going to be a tabular report. So now we have some grouping options here and you can group by the first letter, second letter, third letter, the various number of letters. So I'm gonna leave that at normal, group it by the entire category. Uh, my categories are granular enough. This screen allows you to choose who you're going to sort by, what, what you're going to sort by, which field. Uh, I'll sort by description. There are some options here. So the options allow you to put summaries in the footer at the or at the end of each section. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, average the retail and cost and uh, sum up the quantity of each category. And so we can click next at this point. And now in my tabular report, I can choose whether I want it stepped or I want it to be block and a portrait or landscape. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the default settings. If I wanted to block, what it does is it puts the category title on the same line as the first line of data is the only difference. I can give the report a name here. Later, I'll give it a name on the hard drive. Now, one thing you'll notice after you get to this point, you want to preview it because once you get it in preview mode, you can see what adjustments you need to make. And you can see that it's left a lot of room for description and really not enough room for the fields that followed the product ID, quantity and stock, retail price, cost and so forth. So I want to adjust those. And once I take it out of print preview, it'll take me straight into edit mode here. Okay, and I'll start working to adjust the various fields. 
Now, the first thing I'll do is I want to highlight description, the title, and the field. Now, if I click up in the ruler, it highlights everything in that row. If I start my highlighting like up in the header, I can draw down and highlight just the number that I want. So you see me doing that. And so I'll draw down and move them where I need to. And you just keep playing with it until you get it looking the way you want it to look. So one step at a time there. And then cost, of course, they didn't allow at all enough room for cost. And so uh, we'll go ahead and just expand that out so we can see our cost field. And I, I suspect we may have to do even a little bit more than this. So um, we'll go ahead and just take care of that right now. Shorten up description a little bit more here and, and just keep on working until we get all of these things looking the way we uh, want them to look. And you keep playing until you get it about the way you like it. So let's go ahead and put it back into print preview. See what progress we've made. You know, it's almost big enough for the cost field. It's not quite big enough. So obviously we still need to play with it just a little bit more than that. We don't need to take time on this video to continue uh, playing with that. But we can close the print preview there. We can also show the, the regular access view here. If you just show it on the screen uh, to your users, it looks very similar to the print preview mode. Okay, I've shown you how to use the wizard here to create a report. We're gonna create more complex reports in upcoming videos and show you how to do all those things and show you the more complex pieces that you can use in creating a report beyond just the simple reports that we just created. So if you like what you found in this video, you know, hit please hit that like button, get it out to other people. And we sure appreciate all of you that have subscribed so far and hope that you'll stick with us and see you in future videos again. Thanks.